Tony, a, a huge effort from the team. Very disappointed to come away with nothing. Yeah, we were, you know, as they've just said now, we were the dominant side, you know, away from home and, um, you know, big decisions again have gone against us. The goal was a sloppy goal and a poor goal to concede. It's a, you know, two runners get behind our two midfield players, which shouldn't happen. Um, but even then, you know, the, it comes off the post and did it ball in the back of the head or whatever. And I thought he had it and, and how he doesn't grasp it, I, I don't know. So that was poor for us. But really and truthfully, I didn't see him do anything else. I, there, there was there was nothing else. And and to be blunt, we got in their final third a lot of times today. And the final pass or the final ball wasn't of the quality that you want and what you need. And um, so that was disappointing. Having said that, the breaks, you know, with referees making decisions, Brunty's penalty is a penalty. There, there's absolutely and and Rogers only five yards away from that. And it, you know the, the the kid Brunty touches the ball and the kid follows through. Unfortunately, I think he's going for the ball, but Brunty gets set first and then he just goes through the back of Chris. So that's a stone bank of penalty. And the last one, Callum, he's not touched the ball. He's he's played Callum. So again, there's two penalty decisions that have uh, have really really changed well, changed the game and not not fallen for us when they should really fall for us and. If you have a look at the last week, we get a penalty given against us. It's not in the in the area; it starts outside the area. You know, we play Leicester. We get two stone banker penalties against Leicester that are not given. We get two again today that are not given. And uh, I've just said to the lads now, you know, that that is very unusual for that to happen to a team. Very unusual to have this run of uh, of bad luck. But we've got to stick in there. We've got to keep working. I thought their effort was fantastic today and their commitment. You couldn't fault them one bit. And um, you know we've got to dust ourselves down and get uh, and get going. And you know supporters who've travelled here today will hopefully have seen a team having a right go. Um, and we certainly need them on Monday. We'll need that support because at the moment we're not getting no help from anywhere else. A number of uh, encouraging things in terms of the, the way we played second half. Swansea renowned for being the passing side couldn't get out, could they? Now we pinned them in, and like I said, the disappointment thing was the quality in the final third. And, and we brought Sido in, who's you know. It still looks short of what Sider was, and you know that that's, you know, you have to accept that because he's not been playing. Um, so, you know, without Solomon, without McLean, I think the lads have put a real good effort in today. So, one of the great traditional games, Newcastle on Monday and at Christmas as well, needs the support to to get behind the team, doesn't it? Well, I think the supporters looking again tonight will, f will feel aggrieved that you know this football club you know, the famous football club has not had the breaks that they should have and, and you know I'm not asking for things that are not there I'm asking for things that were there and should have been seen and should have been given um, but you do have things go against you and, and you have to show the character and courage to, to bounce back we know how tough the game will be against Newcastle um, and without Solomon and without McLean you know it's even tougher so we need the support of everybody in Fingers crossed we'll get the same support that we had against Bournemouth, which was fantastic.